Hello friends, welcome to my channel and as you can see today's video is based upon how to teach jigsaw puzzle to your toddler. Actually me and my son are still struggling with the jigsaw puzzle but I thought to make this video uh, so that uh, you my viewers and those who are viewing my videos uh, do not do the same mistake that I have done in teaching the jigsaw puzzle. Okay, the, so two uh, major mistakes that we as a parent do while uh, regarding the jigsaw puzzle is first, number one, thinking that jigsaw puzzle are for the older child and not for the younger one. This is the biggest mistake that we do, uh, thinking it is only for the older child of five or six year old. No, a jigsaw puzzle uh, can be taught to even a two or a 2.5 year old toddler. A jigsaw puzzle is a technique. It's also a logic, but it's also a technique. So uh, I'll show you the technique uh, as we go further. So whenever there is a technique, a technique can be taught to a younger child as young as two and 2.5 years old. So first thing is that uh, start, uh, start introducing the puzzles to your toddler as soon as possible. So do not think it is only for the older children. Uh, right, that is the first mistake that we as a parents do. The second most common mistake that we as a parents do is buying the puzzles that are not age appropriate. Yes, this is the biggest mistake that we do and we end up with a toddler, with a frustrated toddler who never wants to do jigsaw puzzle. So the uh, most uh, common thing, the mistake that we do is... Uh, Buying a jigsaw puzzle like this, as I did, this was the very first puzzle that I introduced. See, this is a shaped first, uh, this is a car puzzle. I thought, since my son is very much interested in cars, he would like this puzzle. But if you see, these are the 3 piece, 6 piece, 9 piece and 12 pieces puzzle. But it does not have appropriate shape. I mean, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, not a uh, square or rectangle puzzle. That's a mistake that we do. Because uh, the technique that I'm going to teach you, in that technique, this puzzle doesn't work. So if you want to teach a technique to the uh, your child, these kind of puzzles are a completely no-no because they have a very different shapes. Each puzzle is of different shape. And the technique that we use for jigsaw puzzle is not applied on this. So... Uh, even the see even in this puzzle the age that is mentioned here is uh, uh, three plus but I won't I would uh, uh, won't recommend these uh, different shapes of uh, uh, puzzles. Uh, you need to buy the puzzles that are square or rectangle in shape. I'll you'll get to know better as we start the video. Okay, so let's start as how we should introduce the puzzles to the child. Okay. Uh, once your child is 12 to 14 months old, you can introduce a two-piece puzzle like this. These are the wooden puzzles and uh, uh, there are different uh, objects here. Like this is a house and these are just, just two-piece puzzle. Uh, the child can easily uh, hold it and do it. Uh, my son has really enjoyed this puzzle and still enjoys it as he finds this very easy. So these are only two piece puzzles and 12 to 4, 15 or 18 months old children can easily do this, believe me. Uh, do not introduce the entire uh, A to Z, all the pieces at once. Uh, try with two or three uh, puzzles at once. At once. And uh, later on increase the pieces. Now, right now what I do is I... Um, Although I have uh, done it um, way before, uh, I give all the pieces and Shivant is able to complete all the two pieces puzzle A to Z uh, long back when he was still younger. So the first step is to introduce the two step puzzle. Yeah, generally we introduce the, these knob puzzles first to a child but uh, it's better if that uh, you introduce these two piece puzzle, you are laying the foundation for the jigsaw puzzle by giving this to your child okay so step one two piece puzzle step two is using these knob puzzles 
Now these knob puzzles are different in shape, but the child can recognize the shape and put the knobs. So, um, if possible, you can uh, buy three, or four, or five puzzles like this. Uh, you can get these in first cry when there are offers. These are not that costly. So I have these puzzles. Uh, still, my child enjoys it. To and to make it difficult, what I do is I. Uh, pull out all the pieces of all the puzzles and he has to find the uh, pieces of this puzzle although that too he finds it very easy so the second step is using these knob puzzles you can buy it either of shapes or animals or you can buy a solo puzzle like this anything so the second step is buying these kind of knob puzzles Okay, so now the third step is, it is the most important step is in now you are introducing the uh, basic jigsaw puzzles, but not the two pieces puzzle. You are increasing the pieces to six or nine. Now this is a puzzle uh, of nine pieces, but how is it different from the jigsaw puzzles normally available in the market is that the entire picture is printed here. And the child has to imitate the picture. This is not so easy, although you might think this is too easy for a child who knows a knob puzzle. But believe me, it's not that too easy. Okay, so why I am telling you to introduce a puzzle with the picture printed on it is because normally you will find the puzzles that have the photo of the puzzle that you need to complete but and only the pieces are available like this this is very difficult for the child uh, by looking the photo and completing the uh, puzzle these are puzzle is initially uh, quite difficult for a child so uh, it's better that you you are introducing the jigsaw pieces but you the your child has to put these jigsaw pieces on the picture that is already printed at the back so that is the third step okay now and the fourth step is introducing uh, these kind of puzzles where the child has to imitate the photo the child is given only these jigsaw pieces and by looking at the photo the child has to complete the puzzle that is the last step Okay, these were the uh, uh, order or sequence of buying the puzzles. Um, these all the puzzles have been bought from Amazon only. If you want, I'll be pasting the link below. Okay, these are the four, one, two, three, four, five steps. Now, coming to the technique of the puzzle. Okay, I will show you uh, the technique with the help of this 10 piece puzzle. I will not be able to show you uh, the technique with more pieces since the video will become very long. So this is a 10 piece puzzle and we have to make a bus like this. Okay. So what you have to teach your child is first, you have to teach your child to separate the pieces, to segregate the pieces uh, into the pieces that has two edges as straight and into the pieces that has only one edge as straight. Means so you, you have to ask your child to separate the pieces with two sides straight and one side straight. You can see this has two sides straight. So this will go here. This has only one side straight. So this will go here. This piece has two sides straight. You have to demonstrate it like this or like this. This has two pieces straight. So it will go here. Uh, this has one side straight, so it will go here. This has one side straight, so it will go here. This has two sides straight, it goes here. This has one side straight, it comes here. This has two pieces, I mean two sides straight, it goes here. This again has one side straight, so it comes here. This has one side straight. Just all side, there is a, it's a curve, so it comes here. Okay. Now we have separated the pieces that has two side straight and the pieces that have one side straight. Okay, so first step was 
to segregate the pieces with two side straight and one side straight if the number of pieces are more there would be three groups of segregation pieces with two side straight pieces with one side straight and pieces with no sides as straight okay so once after segregating the second step is you have to show the picture to a child like i show the picture to a child she wants look at the picture see there is a bus there is a sky above the bus there is a road below the bus see the wheels of the bus see the headlights of the bus and see the grass that is there besides the road uh once you show the picture like this the child is concentrating on uh, what the entire uh, picture is he is imagining in the mind and now start with the jigsaw puzzle and now you will ask your child to first take the pieces that has two sides straight okay and segregate them into the corner because you have to ask your child you have to tell your child that two side straight comes into the corner so they these will come into four different corners the sky comes up and the road comes down so where is the sky so the child will arrange these two corners of sky first and where is the road so these two pictures will come down okay once these these uh, four jigsaw puzzles are done now we will take the pieces with only one side straight okay so here too you will ask the child to separate the pieces with the sky and the road so here is a sky here is a sky here is a sky this is a road this is a road this is a road okay so first let's complete the sky now let's complete this bus so the child will match like this it becomes easier for the child because the sky always comes above so it's like this okay now let's complete the road okay where is it this is a light of the bus let's first complete the light yeah the light is complete let's connect the bus yes see the bus mirror is complete sorry the bus glass is complete now what comes next let's find the second headlight of the bus so here is the second headlight of the bus yay and now which this corner and here comes the last piece yay the bus is complete and encourage the child for completing the jigsaw puzzle by itself that's it that's the technique guys uh these were just one two three easy steps of teaching the jigsaw puzzle and your child will really find it very easy these are just 10 pieces uh once child has mastered these 10 pieces or 9 pieces puzzle then you can increase the number of pieces like you can go for 15 pieces then you can go for 20 pieces then 25 then 48 and so on uh, and the technique is the same uh, for all the uh, puzzles uh, whether it be 48 piece or however and, uh, and uh, i would suggest that you buy the puzzles the pictures uh, that your child is interested in for example if you have a boy they are generally interested in the vehicles so i have bought the puzzle for vehicles if you have a uh, child who is interested into uh, fruits you can buy puzzle of fruits if your child is interested into the cartoon um, then you can buy the puzzles of the cartoon there are lots of uh, options available uh yeah that's it if you have any queries please uh, mention in the comment below i hope this video was useful um if you like the video please press a thumbs up and share with other parents uh and subscribe to my channel so that you do not wish you do not miss upon any of the videos uh so all the best uh, all the parents and bye for now thanks for watching